Hi, Junko. This is Robert. Um, as you can see, um, this is a photograph of the controller card. Uh, what you might want to do uh, is after you remove the lid, I think you removed the lid before, is take a picture of this uh, connected first with your iPhone camera. Uh, just in case uh, something goes wrong, you can go back to the picture and look at the photograph. First thing you should do is unplug uh, all the power cords from the unit and let it discharge. Um, uh, like I said, uh, I assume you know how to take the six screws out of the bottom to re carefully remove the lid. Second thing you should do is there's two ground straps uh, that are grounded to the base plate. Um, the second thing you should do is there's one here. So unscrew that and take that off and save it. And then there's one over here that I've already taken off, which goes right there. So once you've taken those two ground straps off, then go to here and take this off as well and do it the same on the other side which I've already done you see that so remove those then unplug the USB cable from this port here you see it it just plugs in here and you just hold the card and pull it out Okay, the next thing to do is to unplug the black Molex connector here. I don't know if you can see that. On the newer cards, you have to lift up and then pull out. But on the older cards, uh, you just pull it straight out. But make a note that the wires on this should be, take a picture of this because if you put it... you. On, on the older ones, you can put it in backwards and it won't work. So make sure that if it's blue on this side and white on this side, that then that's the same way it goes back on when you put the other card in, okay? Now the next thing to do is to unplug the power connector labeled J2. This is J2 right here. So just carefully lift it up and down and pull it out. It's got two ribs on each side so it can only go on one way. On the older cards it did not have this. So make sure that the red wire is on the top and the orange wire is on the bottom when you plug it plug it back in, okay? Now there are three black SMB wires. There's one here which I've already unplugged. There's one here and there is one here next to this black, let me use the pencil, this one here. This one, we, is, we don't use this until we get the drop cassette. That's for the drop cassette. So we use this one, which is next to this. What I'd like to do is, if you're not familiar with this, is this one is uh, JPL1. PL2, PL11. What I like to do is put some tape on the cable before you unplug it and label it. You can see the number uh, right here, PL1. Same with this, PL2, which is right here, and PL11. If you label it with tape, when you go to connect it back, you know which one goes where. So these three black cables they're called SMB cables, have to be disconnected. Next is um, on some of the cards they have a tab here, right here, and this tab moves up and down, see? And on this side as well, there's a tab right there. Um, just make sure that it's un unclipped. It moves in and out like this. And then carefully slide the card up after you've done that. I can't pull it out because I'm holding the camera. But you can pivot it back and forth, back and forth. 
hope you see that. Nice and easy. Hold it like right here, I guess. And uh, pull it out. And then you use the reverse order. Um, you, you slide in the new card. You, you put the black uh, cables on next here. PL2, uh, PL11, and PL1. Put those on next. Then uh, you just follow the instructions that uh, I gave you as far as putting everything back in the reverse order. You put the Molex connector back on. You make sure you put this black uh, connector back in. Make sure, note which way the, I told you, note which way the wires go uh, before you take it out because on the older ones, <clears throat> You can put it on either way, but only one way works. Then uh, make sure you plug in the USB cable back in here, along with the power, power supply cord. Make sure that the red, uh, the red wire is up. It, and make sure that these pins are, are, are lined up correctly so you don't uh, short it out. It has to be lined up correctly. It'll snap in like that. You see? Then uh, put the ground straps back on here. I don't know if you can see this or not. This is in the way. But make sure you put these back on here and then on the other side as well here right there and then connect these back to the base plate on either side. When you're putting these cape black cables back on, make sure that they're not sticking up, like that they're turned down. So when you put the cover on, it doesn't interfere. And uh, let's see, lastly, make sure that the other ground straps are on and secure as well here and on the base plate over here. Uh, and that should conclude uh, the uh, replacement of the controller card.